Hello, my little creatives, and welcome back to another episode of Drawfully Fun Draw With Me. Today, we're shifting gears a little bit, and we're going to be drawing a more domestic type of animal. We're actually going to be going into our household common pet, a dog, more specifically, a corgi. Who doesn't love corgis? I mean, come on. What's not to love about them? They're short, they're stubby, they're cute, they're adorable. And what's even more adorable is that we're drawing one that is popping out of a donut. Oof, I love it. I love it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get started before I get way too hungry and go eat a whole box of them. <laughs> donuts, not dogs, donuts, box of donuts. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> All right, guys, today we're going to start with oval eyes. We're going to have big old egg shaped eyes right in the middle of the page. Oh, little ovals, little ovals looks like little ovals getting ready for Easter it looks like <laughs> we have egg-shaped eyes we're gonna have pupils that look right to us so that means it's gonna be cross-eyed so we're gonna have cute little pupils Ooh, what happened to my sharpie there my goodness time to switch up the sharpie shall I sheesh all right let's go ahead and do those pupils there awesome let's do another line right behind it let's set up our stripes now, if you guys have been here with me before, you know I love to draw ladders in my eyes. This is where we're going to get the color of our eyes. So let's go all the way up to the tippity top. All the way up to the tippity top. There we go. So we have stripes. We have ladders. We need sparkles. Let's get sparkles up in here. Big old sparkle on top. Little sparkle on bottom. There we go. Big sparkle on top. Boop. Little sparkle on bottom. Awesome. Looking good so far. Let's shade in those pupils. If you know me by now, you'll know that I don't like empty eyes. I like it when they're shaded in. They look so much cuter. They look adorable. They don't look creepy. I mean, come on, look at the difference there. This is a creepy looking eye. This is a cute looking eye. Let's stick with the cute and let's color these in. Adorable. Now, if you want to add eyelashes to your little doggy here, your little corgi, right now is the time to do that. Add little lashes there. I'm going to leave mine just the way it is. I think it's going to look cute without lashes on my end. But you do you. You do you. All right. Let's move over to the nose. We're going to do a really cute triangle nose, but with rounded edges. Bring it around and back up. Round out those edges as best you can so it doesn't look like a sharp triangle. We don't want a jack-o'-lantern nose. We want a cute little doggy nose. Awesome. Now let's do some hooks. Right to the left. Give it a big old smile. And to the right. And let's give it some cute little laugh lines right there. That looks adorable already. I love it. But I want to step it up a notch. I don't want to just give it an open mouth. I want a little tongue sticking out from the inside here. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over here and just do a little line that goes down. But I'm not going to close it there. From here, I'm going to do a rainbow curve. And this is going to be the tongue that's popping out from the mouth. A rainbow curve. And then a bubble right on the bottom to close this little section out. Boop. There you go, that little tongue is sticking out. And then we can continue our mouth. And then of course add a little line. And you got a tongue. Aw, he's cute. You can also add cute little whisker dots. Whisker dots, how adorable. Love it. All right, now the fun begins and let's go ahead and do our mohawk. You know me, we gotta have mohawks if you haven't learned by now if you haven't watched my videos before most of my characters have mohawks and when the character doesn't call for a mohawk i give it one anyways kind of like my rock star bear my rock star elephant you get the idea <laughs> let's do mohawk here we're gonna do instead of triangles i like to do what we call swoops they're gonna be rounded triangles almost so we're gonna round out the mohawk with three swoops one two and three three swoops all right and then we're gonna round out the head from each side of the swoops so we're gonna bring this down create a little forehead 
and then some more swoops. I'm gonna start bringing this out and do three swoops for the cheek. One, I'm sorry, two swoops. One, two, boop, two swoops. So we gave it a little bump here for the forehead and then we start bringing it outwards a little bit to create a cheek effect. And then we bring this curve from the swoop all the way down, boop, 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 down to where the tongue is, boop. There you go. Looking good, all oh, his shape is coming along already. I love it. All right, let's come back over here and do the rest. So on this side, we're gonna do the same effect that we did. We're gonna give it a little forehead bump. So bring this around, create a little bump, bring it down, and then start curving back out into two swoops. One, two, and close out the bottom of the head. Boop. There we go, look how adorable he looks. He doesn't have any ears or anything yet and he still looks adorable. I love it. All right, now corgis have different colors all over them. They have about an orange and a brown and a cream color and their eyes usually have different colors around them. So what I wanna do is create a big old shape that goes all the way around the eye from about the top of the head here, the forehead. Bring this curve all the way around. Doop, 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 doop. And down to where the cheek line is, kind of curve it into the cheek. Boop. Like that. There we go. Looking good. Ooh, it's a little thick. We'll call this a shadow. <laughs> all right, let's do that again over here. Big old curve going all the way around. And then back up into the cheek line. And there you go. Kind of looks like a superhero now. I don't know about you, but I'm dying to start coloring all of this in, in black and make him look like a superhero corgi. <laughs> I love it. But no, I think we're going to stick with the donut theme instead today. Maybe for another time. I don't know. We'll see. Let's add the eyebrows. Awesome. I'm also going to add some little wrinkled nose lines just to give it some texture right there. You can add as many or as little details as you want. Sky's the limit. All right, let's give him some really cute corgi ears. Now, corgi ears kind of look like fox ears. They're gonna have a roundish triangle looking shape to it. So from the top of the head here, more or less, where we closed off this little section of the eye, let's start our little curve going up and then all the way down like a fox ear. Boop. Pretty big, pretty big ears. Let's give him an inner ear as well. So come here from the eye again, go all the way around and down. Boop. There we go. Looking cute. Oh, I love him. Now I want to add some fuzziness, some little fur that's sticking out from his ear over here. So I'm going to add a couple of more swoops in here, probably about like four little swoops. So I'm just going to come around and go one, two, three, four, and close it up like that so give him a lot of hair right inside that ear love it let's do the second one ready so from the same spot more or less that we started on the eye again bring this all the way around doop, 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 doop. and then start curving it downwards don't make a sharp triangle we don't want cat ears we want nice round fox looking ears there we go go all the way around for the inner ear again and back down same thing that we did here we're gonna do right over here I'm gonna add I think this looks like a little too much I'm gonna add just probably three on this side so let's come on over here and go one two three and close it out yeah that looks cute kind of make it different than this one so they're not so symmetrical all right let's continue now we're going to go ahead and do his little arms his arms are popping out of a donut so they're kind of hanging over so we only have a little stubby arm i mean their arms are already stubby as it is but we're going to make him really stubby because we don't see too much of his body so from the second little swoop here on his cheek i'm going to bring this line down into a little curve like that and another one right here on the bottom and that's the arm and then we're going to do a cute little paw that's right on underneath these lines and it's going to look like a really big rainbow curve all the way around and then we're going to do three little toes right underneath so bring this little curve in one two three three little toes look how cute he looks oh now i want a corgi 
What kind of dog do you have? Do you have a dog? And if you want a dog, what kind of dog do you want? What is your favorite type of dog? I love Dalmatians. I love Corgis. I love Huskies. I love German Shepherds. Oh my, I love them all. <laughs> I specifically want a Husky though. I definitely got to have Husky. All right, let's continue now. Let's do the elbow arm right here. This one's going to be curving a little bit more inwards. So we're going to see a little bigger arm on this side. So again, from the little swoop here, bring this into a little happy face curve all the way around. Boop, stop about right there. And then we're going to do the same concept of this little paw, but kind of more in an angle. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create the rainbow going all the way around to the bottom of the face and down to the left, Boop. like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, little toes. Bring this into a little curve up, bring it up, and the last one connected to the bottom. And there you have it. Oh, look at that. Now, if you wanna stop right here and you wanna have your corgi popping out of something else other than a donut, now's your chance to do that. This is where you can go ahead and get creative. You can make it look like he's popping out of a present, a bag. Maybe if this is around the holidays that you're watching this, maybe you can put a big Christmas bow on it, a Hanukkah bow or whatever holiday you celebrate. You can go ahead and decorate that however you want, give it as a gift to somebody. Hey, anything you want. You can also have him popping out of a flower bed or a garden, anything you like. Or you could be like me and have all these food cravings and draw food. So let's draw the donut. I'm going to come all the way around from the back of the head right here and I'm going to create this big old donut shape going all the way around. So big old C-shaped curve all the way around. Start curving it inwards. Bring it in. I'm going to stop about here. I like to work from side to side rather than blindly go around this way. I kind of want to guide myself a little better than that. So I'm going to come over here on the right create another curve and then connect it to where I left off over there. And just bring this all the way around. Bring this one here. There you go. You got yourself a donut or a bagel in this case right now. It's just a plain old donut. <laughs> Let's give it some frosting to really make it look like a donut. So now there's no wrong or right way to do frosting. You just do a whole bunch of drips going all across your donut. Big, small, however you want them. The sky's the limit. There we go. I'm going to add a couple little rogue frosting drops all around here just to give it a little dirty illusion. There we go. Maybe a little blob over here. <laughs> we can add sprinkles later on maybe. Add them in color instead of outlining it or you can come in and you can outline it however you want. All right. Well, this can also be if you're in summertime, you can do a big inner tube. It could be like if he's in the pool and this is a little floaty. <laughs> That's an option. All right. Let's do the bottom of the body right here underneath the donut. We're going to have a tiny little curve coming out and that's the bottom, the top of the leg. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and connect it and make a little paw. So I'm going to start a little rainbow curve going around all the way around and then I'm going to create three little toes. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Look at that toe. What did I do there? That looks like a duck bill. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a really big stubby toe. Okay. We're going to have to fix that here and make a little fourth toe. Okay. So he's getting four toes y'all. He is getting four toes. <laughs> this is how you know this is real. This is not a uh, scripted. I can make mistakes and my mistakes turn into happy accidents. You know, there we go. We'll call that a shadow and he has a fourth extra toe there. We'll just have to add an extra toe to the other one. <laughs> All right, guys, now let's continue on here. I'm going to go ahead and do the little belly shape here so we can connect the bottom of the leg. So right here, I'm going to do a swoop. I'm going to do a curve and then a swoop going up and then bring this around. But I'm going to stop boop, right here because I want to do another paw right here in a second. Let's close this out right on the bottom. Bloop. Awesome, awesome. And I'm going to use this stopping point where I stopped at as my reference guide on where I want to do the next paw. So right here, I'm going to do a curve go all the way around and then we're going to do our toes. So since we did four over here accidentally, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do four over here instead of three. So one, 
two, three, and four. Bring it all the way around. Boop. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Okay, looks cute. I think it would have been cuter with three toes, but hey, stuff happens. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the rest of the belly shape here. So just like we did this little swoop effect, we're going to do another one, but right here. And bring it down to the toe. Boop. And you got your belly line. And then you got the back side of the leg. Now bring it down to that foot. And let's add a cute little stubby tail, adorable little tail right here with little swoops, kind of like three little toes. And back. It's a stubby little tail. Look at that. He's so cute. Aside from this little hiccup here, ah, <laughs> it's bugging me. But that's okay. I'm going to show you guys the completed version in just a second, and you're going to see how adorable he looks. I love this corgi. And this is it, everybody. This is the final version. This is the outline, and this is the completed version. All right, now you know the drill, guys. If you liked what we did here today, go ahead and hit that big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so that you can get notified of all of my future content. And if you did complete this drawing and you colored it and you posted it to social media, use the hashtag drawfully fun or send me a fan art email with your fan art i will be posting more details on my website coming soon so you guys can all submit fan art to my website and then i can feature you all on the website directly all right guys until the next time happy creating